This is ABC 7 News, Chicago's number one news, with Sylvia Perez, Linda Yu, and weather with meteorologist Tracy Butler. This is ABC 7 News at 11. Well, there's a special event for people who enjoy Japanese cuisine. It's Sushi and Sake 101. Guests can learn how to roll their own sushi and pair their delicacies with premium sake. Monica Samuels and sushi chef Shigeru Katano from Sushi Samba Rio are here to tell us all about it. And they have a beautiful display nice? right here. It's really cool. Very nice. Nice to have you here. Good to have oh, it's you. great to be Welcome here. To yeah, so, so tell us about this class that people can go to. Well, we're relaunching our sushi sake <laughs> classes this Thursday. Um, it's from 6.30 to 8.30. It's $75 a person, and it's a really fun, interactive way for people to learn about sake and make their own sushi. Mm -hmm. I didn't know there was specialization involved in, in the pairing, just like wine. Yeah, well, there's a lot of, I mean, I think sake is actually a little more versatile. Um, uh -huh. But yeah, definitely there's all sorts of different types of sake, sweet versus dry and heavy bodied, medium bodied, light bodied. It's, um, there's a lot of edges of the spectrum. Now take us through, do you have some samples over here? These yeah. are really pretty bottles. Thank you. That's what I'd order by base on the bottle. Yeah. That, I like that, that looks bottle. pretty, I'll, I'll take that one. <laughs> well, I brought a few different kinds sure. just to kind of show a little bit of what we're gonna be tasting in our class. Uh -huh. I brought a sparkling sake, which I thought was kind of fun just because a lot of people you know, I always celebrate. That. I never knew that yeah. there was one, okay. A lot of people celebrate with champagne mm -hmm. or other sparkling beverages, and we do so many bachelorette parties and birthday parties at the restaurant that we always like to start with a toast of sparkling sake. Okay. It's really festive and fun. Which one would that be? Uh, that would here. be this one right here. Okay, okay. cool. Yeah. Good, good, good. What's, what's, does the sparkle do anything to the taste? I mean, is there carbonation involved? Yeah, well, it's secondary fermentation, just uh -huh. like sparkling wine, really? and um, it's a little lower in alcohol content. Oh, cool! And which makes it great as an aperitif. Ah, I good. like that. I like that for secondary fermentation. Next time, just <laughs> use that, and you sound aperitif. like you know what you're doing. <laughs> well, okay. And then exactly. we have our sushi chef over here. Is he going to show us uh, how to roll one? Yes. Uh, we're going to be making a Pacific roll today, which is one of our signature rolls. Yes. Okay. We wanted to do something that was kind of fun that people could make at home, so we chose a oh, cooked right. roll. So, okay. Let's do it. Um, it's king crab, avocado, and Asian pear. Yep. And uh, this. How do we get started with that? Yeah, let's get sure. started. <laughs> that sounds good. Avocado and pear, man. And that's uh, a good instead of seaweed, this roll is wrapped in soy paper, uh, which a lot of people like, especially. Soy. Oh, okay. Soy. Okay, I do like soy. I've never had it with soy paper. Yeah, a lot of people are adverse to the seaweed flavor just because it's mm -hmm. kind of strong and pungent. Mm -hmm. So the soy paper is a lot more. It's subdued, you it's know, and especially for vegetarians. <laughs> okay. And so it's he pretty. takes the paper, and then what does he do next? Put the rice on so it? So we put the rice on it first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So people will get to learn this at it. this mm -hmm. class. Yeah, it's a two-hour class. So the first segment is sake, and then after that, you know, Chef Shige will do a demonstration on different cuts of fish, different styles of sushi okay. making, and everyone in the class will get a chance to come up and make their own sushi, whether it be a roll like this, or a hand roll, or a pressed roll, or whatever they feel like doing. Now, what's the difference between sushi rice and regular rice? Well, um, sushi rice is Japanese rice that has uh, vinegar applied to it, mm -hmm. okay. and it's... The distribution of the water and the vinegar is really important just because it's a little stickier. So you have to, um, it's just kind of a long process. Like okay. a, a lot of sushi chefs start only making sushi rice for the first like five or six years of their oh, tenure. Oh, you have to perfect that yeah. first, all right. Yeah. Is it really difficult to make a sushi roll for people? I mean, uh, make it look good as his does. Well, he definitely makes it look a little easier than yeah, it is. That's what but I'm <laughs> about. Yeah. And is that it? Is he going to roll that up? Yes. You Let's just roll, roll it up. Like that? Right. Wow, you that too can enough. learn the art <laughs> <laughs> of rolling and also pairing, which is really cool. Once again, the class is, oh, Sushi Sampa Rio uh -huh. is located at 504 North Wells, and you can call the number you see on screen at 312-595-2300 for more details. Of course, as always, you can check our website, abc7chicago.com. We've got it all for you. Man. I know, very pretty. Looks really good. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. And there is much more ahead on the news at 11 o'clock.